Welcome to our series on production manufacturing. Today, how to pick CNC and injection molding tolerances when you're stepping up from prototyping to production. We'll focus on CNC tolerances first, then move on to tolerances for injection molding. The truth. Every extra hundredth you tighten adds minutes in the machine and time at inspection. That's money. So start simple, give non-critical features a sensible general tolerance, like plus minus 0.1 mm on small features, and let it scale with size, then tighten only where function proves you must. Where do you actually need precision? Mating parts, sealing surfaces, bearing bores, precision locators. Use proper fits instead of guesswork. Call bores as H7 and pair shaft G6 so the fit is designed, not hoped. Keep your GDNTs disciplined. Datums should reflect how the parts is used. Flatness and perpendicularity in the 0.05-0.1 mm range often deliver plenty for the small parts. Save sub 0.02 mm territory for when it generally changes performance. Threads? Specify the standards class, not fantasy microns. Surface finish? Machined RA 1.6-3.2 microns is a good default. Only go finer when friction, sealing or optics demand it. Plan inspection to match risk, go no go and calipers for general features, micrometers and plug gauges for tight coupling, CMM for the few ultra critical dimensions. Put that expectation on the PO so hidden QC doesn't surprise your cost. Moving on to injection molding. If you carry machining expectations into molding, you'll buy delays. Plastic shrinks, so tolerance thinking has to change. Start with reality. Most molded features live happily in the plus minus 0.1 to plus minus 0.3 mm on small and mid sized parts. Tighten locally to plus minus 0.05 0.1 mm only on what truly needs it snap fits, alignment pins, ceiling edges, optical interfaces, and anchor those to a clear datum scheme that matches how the parts assemble. Design to protect your tolerances. Keep walls uniform so you don't fight differential shrink. Ribs at roughly 40-60% of wall help stiffness without sinks. Add generous fillets. Give yourself draft. Around half a degree on polished steel and a degree or more on texture surfaces. So parts release cleanly instead of warping due to ejection. The exact angle might depend on the material and design. Know your resin's behavior. ABS and PC tend to shrink modestly. PP and POM more so. For instance, ABS and PC can have a shrinkage of around 0.4-0.9%, while PC and POM might range from 1-2.5%. to T0 and T1 samples are the initial batches of parts produced from a new mold and after mold modifications. These samples are critical for evaluating the readiness and performance of the mold under production conditions. We run a steel safe strategy meaning we anticipate and allows for future modifications or adjustment to the mold. So leave stock on the critical features, shoot T0, measure a statistically meaningful sample, cut steel to update the mold, repeat 41. It's predictable, it's fast, and it avoids chasing ghosts. CTQs refer to the key attributes or characteristics of a product that are crucial for customer satisfaction and product performance. Agree on capability upfront for the few can't fail dimensions, something like CPK 1.33 on those CGQs, and keep the rest accessible acceptance to avoid clogging the line with inspections. That's it for today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.